Good morning. You're with Fern. Uh, let's throw something else into the melting pot this morning. Did you know an overwhelming 72% of Brits would prefer to receive a traditional card this Christmas? However, are you in the 6% who prefer a festive greeting via social media or maybe the 10%? Who like a text? New research from Royal Mail proves you just can't beat the warm feeling of having a traditional Christmas card dropped through the letterbox during the course of the festive season. Uh, the Christmas card industry, by the way, it's worth a whopping £384 million, with over a billion Christmas cards sold during the course of 2015. How many cards have you sent this festive season? And where is the furthest that you've actually sent one? We'd love to hear from you. The destination of uh, uh, some card that you've sent, some exotic location maybe, some far-flung postal address somewhere around the globe. 0345 305 1122. For me, a Christmas card to Wollongong in Australia. I think that's, uh, that's the furthest I can lay claim to uh, this year. would love to hear from you. Uh, joining me now is Sharon Little. Sharon, who's the Chief Executive of the Greetings Card Association. Very good morning to you, Sharon. Good morning, Kevin. Sharon, I've not received my card yet. Must be, be lost in the post. Yes? I'm so sorry. <laughs> <laughs> I did send 500 other cards. <laughs> well, maybe, just maybe, it's a case of just not waiting for the postie, but perhaps checking my mobile. You may, you may have chosen to text me a Christmas I greeting. I certainly this would year. never, ever no, do that you with would never, anybody. Ever do that. <laughs> Isn't in sending fact, cards? Been... Isn't sending cards just a little old-fashioned in this day and age, though? Some might suggest. Don't we love the tradition, though? It's one of the great British traditions, um, and in fact, not just Christmas cards. In the UK, we send more cards per person than any other nation. And this is a great homegrown industry as well. We have a fantastic creative design-led industry, 10 years uh, ahead of the rest of the world in terms of design. And all the publishers are based here. It's fantastic. It's uh, mouth-watering, eye-popping to read details that we just trotted out there. The Christmas card industry, it's worth £384 million, with over a billion Christmas cards sold in 2015. That's no wonder huge, my isn't it? local postie has got a bit of a bad back this time of the year. Uh, for many, it is the old-fashioned way, but as you were pointing out, the more traditional way of sending greetings this time of the year, yes? And I think it's also the most emotionally um, uh, satisfying way of connecting. We, we love to receive cards. I think there's something really special about the physical nature of a card. We love receiving them because we can display them. Christmas cards are such an important part of our d Christmas displays in the home. We love hanging our cards up. And then in inside the card, it's handwriting. And it's the only place where we tend to see handwriting these days. We don't write letters anymore, really, although there is a resurgence in social stationery. But we, but we have that bit of magic of ink on paper and handwriting is also it's such a personal thing handwriting is unique to every individual and uh, it shows when you send a card that you've spent time thinking about that person and that you've taken the time and trouble to send a card it's that personal touch you're quite right in saying it. It's not just enough to say best wishes from blah de blah de blah, blah de blah de blah. And the reason it always takes me so long to write out my Christmas cards is I always like to put a little bit of a message in mine. Certainly if it's family further afield who I haven't possibly caught up with in, in recent months or, or possibly haven't seen for uh, the best part of a year usually with, with, with some members of the family. Uh, this time of the year it's a case of all gathering together all well and good but it's an opportunity to, to bring family and friends up to date with where you are and what it is you've been doing. I think it's I think it's really important and people will really treasure that you know that will be an extra special card it's really difficult to to throw away cards when people have have put a really special message inside because it's a, it's a direct communication you know it's a, it's really really direct it sort of goes straight to the heart um so so yes I I I think it's really important and the cards keep on giving you know when people display cards you glance up at the cards and each of them represents the person that sent sent it to you. 
Uh, final oh. word has to go to one of my two producers. Not in my best books. I don't mind you knowing this morning, Sharon, but I just want to share this one with you. Producer Tom saying to me a little earlier on the subject of Christmas cards, he says the only cards that he likes to receive are the ones when a fiver falls out of them when he opens the envelope. Does he need to embrace the festive spirit possibly here, Sharon? I think he really does. It sounds like he hasn't actually grown up. <laughs> 28 years of age these days, the boy. Bless him. Needs to do a bit of growing up is what you're saying this morning, Sharon. Absolutely. <laughs> Merry Christmas. Good speaking to you this morning. Thank you very much. Merry Christmas. And seeing as I'm asking listeners to BBC Radio Cumbria uh, to get in touch and tell me the the far-flung destinations of some of their Christmas cards. For me, Australia and Wollongong, it was a Christmas card and a letter to, to a, a dear friend of mine. The furthest that one of your Christmas cards will be travelling this year, Sharon? Uh, I've sent one to Australia as well. Oh, yeah. no, I, I've sent, also sent one to Korea. Oh, Korea? Yes. Oh, wow. I have a friend who lives in Seoul. In fact, she lives in Gangnam. <laughs> Gangnam? Yes. Gangnam, Gangnam certainly. Style. Yeah, Gangnam <laughs> certainly tops my Wollongong suggestion in Australia. <laughs> so from Australia to Korea, that is incredible. Merry Christmas, Sharon. Thank you for setting the bar so high. <laughs> Merry Christmas. Bless you. Uh, the destination that one of your Christmas cards is travelling, just how far afield? Down Under, Australia, popular destination possibly for some of your Christmas cards. We've just heard there from Sharon Little, Chief Executive of the Greetings Cards Association, Korea. She's sending a, a Christmas card to Korea. Some of the unusual destinations.